Welcome to the pit on the campus of St. Pius X High School, one of four sites of the Father Wilson Sister Julia baseball tournament. We're here for a pool level game between the Northland Christian Cougars of Taps District 4 4A and the Spartans of Stafford, Texas of UIL District 24 3A. The Cougars are a rising contender in District 4 and are blessed with a solid pitching staff. They're led by Darian Sims, a pitcher and run producing machine, headed for the University of Arkansas. Across the diamond, the Spartans are looking to bounce back after a pair of losses to a couple of the area's top programs, and this game will be another stiff test for the 3A school. The Spartans opened with junior Anthony Ruiz on the mound, and the game began as a pitching duel for the first four innings. Solid pitching and defense kept each team off the boards. Ruiz breezed through the lineup the first time without a single Cougar reaching first base. Here, Ryan Garner needs all his arm to get Noah Fouts on a close play at first. Ho ho! The first crack in the armor came in the fourth inning on Justice Johnson's second at bat as he ripped the shot deep into the hole at third. But Ruiz ended the threat getting Clint Sandiford a ground out to end the inning. The Cougars gave the ball to Noah Fouts to battle the Spartans, and he proved to be more than a handful for the Stafford hitters. Fouts was on fire early, throwing strikes past five of the first seven batters he faced, including striking out the side in the second. And Fouts did it again in the fourth, blowing curves past the two, three, and four hole hitters and would finish with 10 strikeouts on the night. <coughs> the offensive fireworks began in the fifth, as Ruiz sent Fouts to first on a free pass, and Brady Apt came in as a courtesy runner. Then the Cougars executed a hit and run, a Sander first single to where the second baseman would have been, moving Apt to third while hustling into second, putting two in scoring position. Travion Harris then worked Ruiz for a walk to load the bases with just one out. Then a favorite play, a suicide squeeze, as here comes Apt, and Blaine Cannon lays down the perfect bunt, and the Cougars draw first blood. Then while pitching to Darian Sims with bases loaded, Ruiz uncorks a wild pitch, scoring Sandifer as all the runners advance. And on the next pitch, Sims bounces one up the middle, bringing home Harris and Cannon, and collecting three RBIs for the at-bat. Then Sims shows its speed kills, as he steals second. And when the ball gets away from Batiste, he moves on to third. And alertly makes the turn, seeing the ball on the ground, and keeps going, and turns one stolen base into three scoring the fifth run of the inning for the Cougars. The Spartans got their first base hit in the bottom of the fifth when the catcher Joy Perez singled to left and Kyle Whitten took over on the bases. But Fouts then took command before Whitten could do any damage and the Cougars had a healthy five run lead after the fifth. The Spartans got their first score in the bottom of the sixth when Kyle Thompson got on as a result of a throwing error. And the leadoff man was on. Then Devin Batiste advanced the runners with this effective sacrifice bunt. After a walk to Ruiz, Garner swats a high outside pitch to short. But bad timing at second, he raced a double play and loaded the bases with just one down. Then Lance Byron gets the RBI with this ground out to short scoring Thompson to ruin the shutout. But Fouts was too much for the Spartans, and he got out with just one run heading into the seventh. The Cougars got some insurance runs in the top of the seventh against Ryan Garner, who took over for Ruiz in the sixth. After walks to Blaine Cannon and Sims put runners on second and third, Rigo Reyna hits a dribbler off the handle, but the throw to the plate gets past Perez, and Cannon scores, followed closely by the speedy Sims, scoring his second run of the night. 
but then Reyna gets too far off second and Garner cuts him down with a nice pickoff play. Then with another runner on second, Tim Harrison lifts a flare into right. And Justice Johnson comes all the way from second to score the final run for the Cougars. In the bottom of the inning, down but not out, the Spartans started a rally when Joey Perez pulled a line drive to left. That bounced all the way to the wall. And Perez motored to third with a stand-up triple. Perez then scored on Ellis Williams' high bounce to first, and the Spartans had one on and one in with no outs. So Fouts called it a night, and Brandon Hunkin came in to close out the game. And with runners on first and second, Hunkin got Thompson bailing on a fastball, and Johnson comes up with it, converting a double play. And that nailed the coffin shut on the Spartans as the Northland Christian Cougars pick up their fifth win on the season. We got a solid pitching staff. I'm missing one guy, Nick Lebe. Hopefully get him back after spring break uh, with Sams and Fouts and, and uh, uh, Sanford. You know, we got a pretty good pitching staff and I'm, you know, I'm impressed with that right now. Um, but, you know, I've seen a couple of teams in district already. And to me, you know, I think we should be right there in the top of the pack, one, two, three. You know, it, you know, ball rolls this way, this way. Last year, we could have been in first place. So, you know, we got, we got some unfinished business to take care of. So, Eventually, once I started getting ahead in the count, uh, really got a uh, feel for my off speed, my curveball, my changeup was uh, working after that. Usually, I just, uh, I usually pitch to contact, let the, let my defense work. But I guess uh, my stuff was on and uh, I was locating pretty well. So. Uh, really good, and I think uh, we have a great group of, uh, group of guys, seniors, juniors, underclassmen, everyone that can pitch, play, hit, and everything. So I think we're going to uh, have a good year.